What's going on guys? Before I start this video, I gotta give you guys a big shout out. We just hit a milestone, which to some people might not be a lot, but we just broke 100 subscribers on YouTube. Again, it's not that big, but a message from myself to Future Vic. Listen, you keep rocking, man. The people like the videos. Keep doing what you do. Keep building arcades, buddy. On that note, Vic BP back with another Game Case Arcades video and well, yeah, we got this. Again, before I got to start the video, I got to give a big shout out to you guys, the viewers. I love that people are watching this thing. My view count spiked and I'm getting more comments and I'm getting more feedback and again, and again, I got to appreciate Again, I gotta give you guys, the viewers, a shout out. I'm so, I'm so happy that people are watching the videos and are enjoying them. I love the comments. I love the the questions you guys send me. Keep them coming. I'm just happy that it's an entertaining video. I hope I'm not boring anyone. If you guys weren't watching and if I didn't get that feedback, I would have given up. So again, a big shout out to you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. And again, I really appreciate all you guys watching. Please don't be afraid to message and comment. I do read them and I do answer them. I also made a Discord for this, so I will kind of post that in the bottom. This way you could always message me if you have any questions. But again, big shout out to you guys for the viewers. I appreciate it, thank you. Finally, I was able to get my hands on a arcade one-up cabinet. Pretty unique kind of thing. It's pretty amazing how the world works and kind of sketchy as well. Uh, you find some deals, you find some uh, postings, let go, Craigslist. And well, this kind of looks like it came off the back of the truck. Uh, Found a guy, messaged a guy, he was selling it for 75 bucks, which is kind of, you know, I'm a little worried as far as I hope this thing works. But this actually looks like it came from Walmart. Again, just a real quick story. Guy was out in Jersey. Uh, he had a huge warehouse full of like stuff. I'm talking stuff. So he had two of these. I took one, 75 bucks, you can't go wrong. I said, you know what, if it doesn't work, at least I could use the cabinet. But it was still like wrapped. It's still like in the packaging. I did notice though, um, it looks like it was shipped. And on the shipping address, it is to Walmart, um, but it, it's also labeled as a return, a Walmart return. I'll flip the box and I'll show you the, the label, but I'm guessing this is a Walmart return. So, I mean, again, you can't really complain about the price. I did pay dirt cheap, 75 bucks for this, which is originally, I think, 299. You, you could find it for 150, rarely at other places, but I mean, I bought this so we can mod it, hopefully putting a hyperspin build into this. If not, we're gonna do the retro pies we're gonna put 15,000 games inside of this. 17 inch screen, 17 inch LCD screen. I'm pretty excited. Let's, I'm not gonna do a whole unboxing video, but I am gonna unbox this right now and let's just see what I got for 75 bucks. Now again, as far as real quick, what I just discovered, I just unboxed this real quickly. Not fully, but basically I opened it. It did have like packing tape on the edges, but opening this right now, this looks solid. This looks like nobody opened this, so. Again, packaging, the, the instruction manual, nobody opened this. Again, for 75 bucks, a let go find, I can't complain. But I don't want to jinx myself. We're gonna fully open it. Really, I'm looking to make sure that the LCD works and, I mean, the control panel, I'm not worried about the buttons, but as long as the LCD works and the computer inside works, this is good to go. Again, I don't want to jinx myself. Let's not jump the gun, but let's check it out. So far, looking promising, guys. We got a couple of boxes. Definitely were sealed. Control panel definitely untouched it was still in the wrapping look at this like for example this here this has like cellophane tape on it definitely this was not open so super excited looks good i'm just trying to look for the lcd screen control panel seems okay kind of small especially for two players but again this is a mini cabinet so i'm going to keep opening up stuff but so far so good it was wrapped, so there's definitely no issue with as far as maybe somebody opened it and returned it. But I can't really jump to that just yet because I just played Street Fighter and it looks like player one, the right, going right on the joystick, it's either broken or it sticks or something's loose inside. We're gonna have to open it up, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be swapping these out anyway with different joysticks, so it doesn't really matter to me. But just real quick, touching up on the cabinet. It is small. This thing is a joke of how high and the height of it. I know that's like the number one complaint. I know it's a three quarter inch scale, but damn dude, this is, this is bad. Like this, this is bad. Like I, I, I won't, I, 
I can't enjoy this. You have to kneel. I have to kneel or I have to spend the extra 100 bucks and buy the, the um, I don't know, the, the razor, but the riser. But I was really hoping for something amazing. I was really hoping for something mind blowing, but I mean, it's a beautiful cabinet. It's pretty nice, but it's just so plain and dull and the marquee i thought i could add an led to the marquee you can't this is actually a piece of wood there are some scuffings on it the the taping on it isn't that clean but my biggest fear i know it's not t-molding but it's some kind of like paper they use for the t-molding oh and this one speaker what is this first modification we're definitely going to put a actual sound system in this I'm gonna be drilling holes into this, hands down, no doubt about it. There will be holes drilled into that control panel. The buttons, they're so spaced out. I don't know what it is about this, but my fingers are so wide. I'm so used to the, the buttons being so close. I mean, usually me, when I do the custom control panels, I know my measurements. It's never this wide. This you're gonna get like arcade cramp, finger cramp. Um, Let's talk about real quick. The joystick is not centered with the buttons. Why is the joystick off centered? I just I just realized that the joystick is up uh, is up higher than the buttons. Usually, like the joysticks in the middle here. Again, I don't really have selfie mode on this camera, but the joystick doesn't line up. Why? Play one, player two. The volume is pretty cool because it's max high, very low, and then off. Don't know why it turns off, but. Again, I'm not gonna knock it. It is a pretty, it's a pretty fairly decent idea, but for 300 bucks or 350, whenever they advertise it, I would've been pissed. Uh, only three games. Again, the only thing that's really cool about this is the LCD screen. The LCD screen is a real four by three screen. So it is, it's cool, but it's 17 inches. This gap, I mean, if I was to maybe take out the bezel, we could probably put a 22 inch monitor in this but then the top and bottom of it is all like, you're missing everything on it. So I don't know. I'm gonna put this on the table and give him more of a review. I had to lift this up because I'm bending down. This is ridiculous. So let's move it. It was wrapped. So there's definitely no issue with as far as maybe somebody opened it and returned it. But I can't really jump to that just yet because I just played Street Fighter and it looks like player one, the right going right on the joystick. It's either broken or it sticks or something's loose inside. We're gonna have to open it up, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be swapping these out anyway with different joysticks, so it doesn't really matter to me. But just real quick, touching up on the cabinet. It is small. This thing is a joke of how high and the height of it. I know that's like the number one complaint. I know it's a three quarter inch scale, but damn, dude, this is, this is bad. Like this, this is bad. Like I, I, I won't, I, I can't enjoy this. You have to kneel. I have to kneel or I have to spend the extra hundred bucks and buy the, the um i don't know the the razor but the riser but i was really hoping for something amazing i was really hoping for something mind-blowing but i mean it's a beautiful cabinet it's pretty nice but it's just so plain and dull and the marquee i thought i could add an led to the marquee you can't this is actually a piece of wood there are some scuffings on it the the taping on it isn't that clean but my biggest fear, I know it's not T-molding, but it's some kind of like paper they use for the T-molding. Oh, and this one speaker, what is this? First modification, we're definitely gonna put a actual sound system in this. I'm gonna be drilling holes into this, hands down, no doubt about it. There will be holes drilled into that control panel. The buttons, they're so spaced out. I don't know what it is about this, but my fingers are so wide. I'm so used to the, the buttons being so close. I mean, usually me, when I do the custom control panels, I know my measurements. It's never this wide. This you're gonna get like arcade cramp, finger cramp. Um, let's talk about real quick. The joystick is not centered with the buttons. Why is the joystick off centered? I, ju I just realized that. The joystick is up uh, is up higher than the buttons. Usually like the joysticks in the middle here. Again, I don't really have selfie mode on this camera, but the joystick doesn't line up. 
Why? Play one player to the volume is pretty cool because it's max high, very low, and then off. Don't know why it turns off. But again, I'm not gonna knock it. It is a pretty it's a pretty fairly decent idea, but for 300 bucks or 350, whenever they advertise it, I would have been pissed. Uh, only three games. Again, the only thing that's really cool about this is the L C D screen. The L C D screen is a real four by three screen. So it is it's cool, but it's 17 inches. This gap. I mean, if I was to maybe take out the bezel, we could probably put a 22 inch monitor in this, but then the top and bottom of it is all like, you're missing everything on it. So I don't know. I'm gonna put this on the table and give him more of a review. I have to lift this up because I'm bending down. This is ridiculous. So let's move it. I just flipped the camera around because I, again, I just want to show you guys that the joystick is normally centered. I'm about to grab my control panel. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna grab the control panel. Hold on. So I went and grabbed my, control panel two player control panel look at real quick my buttons at least game room solutions buttons that gap between the buttons very comfortable this is a this is a bigger gap i wish i could show you a, i mean again this this is a gap that's a huge gap there's such a gap here you might be saying yeah it might be a different trim but that's a gap i mean i can't even put you can see it right there my finger here index finger index finger so my index finger is overlapping the, over overlapping the buttons here look at the width this is way farther look at real quick the joystick is always centered joystick centered this is off centered why is the joystick next to button one no sense mind-boggling again this is a game room solutions control panel up next to the rk one up it's definitely wider this is at least room players my my adults that play with this there's enough room for two big guys to play this that thing no that's not happening okay so i literally put i put the cabinet on my workbench there's antonio's arcade he's picking it up next week got my two-player control panel real quick look at this look look up down my right works now now it doesn't, now it does. Let's go into a game, let's do two player. Oh. Let me load up a two player game. Looks like, I don't know if it happens to everyone, but my joystick, this is fine. Player two, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. This is fine. My player one, there's something wrong. So again, I'm not sure if that's why somebody returned it. The control panel I noticed didn't have wrapping. See? But now if I hit it at a right angle, see, now I'm good, see? Again, I'm not doing anything major, I'm just going left and right. Now I'm okay, but it looks like, no, see, now I'm okay. But it does go in and out. You kind of witnessed it till you saw me literally beating on this thing. So dumb why the volume only has two settings, I really don't get that. For me, I can't, I'm not, I might, I might be able to make the coin select buttons there. I'm going to take these power things out. Or I might leave it, I'm not sure. But right now my right is working now. But before you guys literally saw, it wasn't working. In a few minutes though, it will not work. This five second, which feels more like 10 seconds to exit out, it's a cool concept, but we got some not really good lining up here. <laughs> Again, the cabinet's pretty nice. It's just these, 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 I mean, you need the screws to hold it in, but damn, the screws, they, they're an eyesore. I wish the artwork, but then again, that's, that was the, that was the Street Fighter II cabinet style. That's how the cabinets look like in the arcades. Bezel's pretty cool. I wish they did brighter colors on this. The marquee, I wish they did a brighter color on the gray. On the camera, it looks really good, but on mine, it looks like a washed out faded gray. Luckily, no nicks. No nicks on the sides. Again, it's a really cool idea, but let's, let's, let's put the camera down. Let's talk. I mean, so I didn't really get to play with this, like, I should have abused it for a week, but, um, this again is, you know, we literally, I just built it, like, five minutes ago, I played, like, two rounds of Street Fighter, I'm calling it, I'm gonna review this real quick, you could take my opinions, but I'm gonna give you an opinion standpoint as a reseller, meaning I'm gonna sell this thing, definitely from my experience with using with Game Room Solutions cabinets, um, think of this at first, okay, it's 300 bucks, 350 after taxes, for 350 for you to get like a cabinet like this with the LCD screen, I mean, 
it's not that bad. I wish the LCD screen was bigger. Yeah, let's say, for example, you know, you could buy a 22 inch monitor for a hundred bucks. Again, a bar top cabinet alone would cost me 220. So you're, you need 320 just to make the bar top cabinet without the controls. Um, you know, so it's up to you. Do you want to do 350 bucks for this whole thing or 220 for just the cabinet and the TV? The LED, the, the buttons, the RK buttons you could get on Amazon for ranging from 20 bucks to a hundred bucks. I spend 75, 80 bucks from Ryan from Gaming Solutions for the LED. I do the LED buttons on mine. So right now, if we think of it as a business standpoint, I spent 75 bucks on this. So I did it. I got a big score on this. If I spent 300 bucks, 350 on this, put in the joysticks and the buttons, you would have went up to another, let's just say 440. Um, put in the Raspberry Pi, put in the Hyper Pi, put in that. I mean, figure it's gonna cost like 520, 530. Um, whereas, for example, a bar top, 220 for the bar top, 100 bucks for the screen is 320. The buttons, let's call 400. Uh, and the Pi figure, you know, I know the Pi's not 100 bucks, but you know, when you do the modifications to it, you know, figure 500 for that. Or I gotta do 500 for this with the work, meaning I have to drill this, like this, I gotta do drilling. Uh, you know, the other thing is definitely the bar top, the width of it is definitely, definitely wider. Definitely wider. 22 inches wide on the bar top, 19 inches wide on that. 20, 21, 22. I mean, yeah, you might say it's three inches different, but it's those three inches definitely make a difference. Um, you know, again, my plan right now is I'm gonna gut, we're not gonna gut it, I'm gonna take the computer out of this, we're gonna put a pie in it. We're gonna have to drill in the four control buttons here. Um, we're gonna have to do the start and the selects up top. Can't do any LED work as far as like marquee. That's not gonna work. Um, might be able to sneak in an LED strip here somewhere. Um, the back, this the cabinet is, is just, it's empty, but then again, there's nothing to this. So the, the whole thing is hollow, there's nothing in this. Definitely, I could see like somebody tipping this over if there's very aggressive playing. Um, again, my biggest downside just not looking at this is that the, con the buttons are too too far apart. You literally will get arcade cramp, like you will lock up, you'll get arthritis and like a playing for this for the week. Um, the joysticks not lining up with the buttons, that doesn't make sense to me. Joysticks should be right in the middle, you should be here. Right now, it's it, it doesn't make sense. The, vo the speaker on this is a joke. You got one speaker, the three volume setting, off, low, and blasting high. Uh, on and off switch is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna find out if I could use that with the Pi. I'm pretty sure I can program it. But there's no attract mode on this unless you literally, you literally leave it on Street Fighter. I did notice that whoever did the programming, the, they did the coin button and the star button as that start button. If you do like just let it like play, you actually, if you keep hitting the start button, you hear coins being dropped. You hear like a bling, bling, bling. So definitely the buttons, they're cheap buttons. The joysticks are cheap. There are zippy style joysticks. They look like the zippy sticks, but my zippy joysticks are taller. You definitely feel the clicks on this. Again, I'm a little upset because my right doesn't work. I can't wait to open up the control panel. We're gonna do it in another video. I'll open up the control panel. We're definitely gonna gut it. The control panel is definitely gonna come off. Um, other than that, as far as modifications, you really can't do anything to it. Bezel's pretty cool, pretty nice. Again, it's a four by three screen. That Street Fighter does look good on this, meaning the picture quality of it is good. I don't know about screen tearing. I don't look into the pixels. There's no dead pixels on my screen, at least, knock on wood. I'm not into the screen tearing, and if it's slow or if it's fast, I don't look at it like that. Definitely, I bought this thing I knowing that I was gonna put, I was gonna put a pie in it. I knew I was gonna put a pie in it. So, but if I was a customer that was just gonna buy this, I would be really pissed. Um, definitely doesn't have the feel. It's definitely so low, it's like a bar stool. You definitely need the riser. This right now is off the floor five feet, uh, four feet off the floor. When I was standing next to it, the top of the, of the marquee was right at my like rib. You, I had to kneel down to play this thing. So I don't know any chair, I don't know anybody that would sit in a chair to play with this thing, but that's this just ridiculous. Um, I specifically bought this one because of the two player. I wanted to do two player. I didn't even bother looking at the Pac-Man one, and that Pac-Man one's gotta be a vertical screen, I hope so. I don't know if they did a four by three screen on the Pac-Man, but again, 
just to compare it, you know, to me, I would have rather bought a bar top cabinet. The bar top cabinet is so much cooler. You can put it anywhere. This right now, I put it on a table and look at how high it is now. Um, I think it's gonna be a little bit of a tough sell to sell, but I regret buying it. <laughs> That's probably why somebody sent it to Walmart's returns. But again, 75 bucks, I can't complain. We're gonna use it, we're gonna mod it up. I'm gonna make a whole LED strip. Looking to do hyper spin on this. I will put maybe a mini computer. There's a lot of space in the cabinet in the back. Um, we could definitely put a tower. You could definitely get an old school Dell, Dell tower. Load up the Dell, that could definitely fit. There's no concerns about that. On Amazon, you'll find people that had to convert it. We did buy the LCD converter. I'm waiting for that. Um, but today I'm gonna take, I'm most likely gonna take the controls home. I bought controls from Ryan Gaming Solutions. Um, they should be the same width. The buttons are pretty cool, but it's just, they're cheap on the, the They give you the, the concave feel, which is pretty cool. But I mean, I'm gonna do LEDs out. We're gonna follow, we're gonna do the same exact thing with this Street Fighter style LED'd up. I'm gonna put my four buttons here, which is gonna be tough because in all honesty, this is like, this is a very flimsy piece. It's just like a cover. So you could definitely put buttons on this, but it might, it might be worn out after a while. Somebody did a coin door mod. Don't do that. That's so dumb. That, I'm not trying to knock you, but that's dumb. This right here, this face plate is literally like, it's thin, it's like a piece of cardboard thin. It's a cover, like you slide it in, kind of like Ikea drawers, the base of the drawers you slide it in. I don't even know how you got your door to even hold up against this. I'm worried about putting buttons on this thing. Imagine you're putting a coin door. It's a cool feel, I get it, but... I mean, again, not to knock it, I'm not gonna really play with this much. I'm gonna take the control panel off, I'm gonna bring it home with me, but... The concept's there, the quality is not. And unfortunately, at that price tag, if I was paying 350, I would be upset. I would so much rather buy a bar top than that. At least with the bar top, again, a lot of different things. You got the T molding. It's so much thicker. You could definitely say that, like the width on the 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 weight on that, you could tell it's quality. This right here, I, it'll it'll last. But I feel like after about heavy usage, I don't think it's gonna last. Um, Again, at least they did good with the bar top, uh, with the with the bezel. Bezel artwork is pretty cool. I'm upset with the marquee. The marquee's a joke. I thought it was like I could I could have maybe cut out the wood, but there's no point of touching that wood. Um, I mean, real quick, the last little point is I would say is that definitely this whole conspiracy with like not conspiracy, but this whole ordeal with artwork and the control panel fading away because of wear and tear and. RK went up sending you a plexiglass cover that doesn't even make sense. Um, those are some other things you have to keep in mind. I would much rather get the plexiglass which comes with the bar top and I would rather put my own custom artwork. Even if you do get the straight black cabinet and you put your own paper artwork like I've done in the past, I would much rather do that. Um, you know, again, that's my biggest fear. I can't even touch this because I don't want to wear it off and give it to a customer. but. I was going to buy the plexiglass that they, not buy, but they sell you because of their mistake. But I can't even see how that's going to be held on. You got to screw it in somehow. Um, again, as far as modding it, I'm hoping that we could take the power switch and the volume rocker and maybe we could just drill a hole. I don't really care that it says power and all that, but that's my only option I would say for putting the start and select on top. Um, again, I just don't know why they put the joysticks on the other side of it. Um, again, there's really not much I could say. It's it's cool, it's great. Buy it if you don't want to spend, you know, my $850 bar top, but don't call me and ask me which one's better because I have my own personal opinions. But this, again, if I could mod it, cool, great. But it's just such an odd shape. Even with the riser, I mean, I'm six feet. I had a, I had to literally kneel down just to get it to like my chest level, kneel down. So I don't know. I really don't know what to tell you guys, but you know, it's a, it's a cool piece. If you put a few, it's like a piece of furniture in your house. It's pretty cool. But we're gonna mod it. A couple of mods, like I said, I'm looking to maybe do hyperspin. Either way, my hyperspin or the hyper pies, they do use the Zinmo, so there is gonna be a Zinmo going into this. Um, whether we do a laptop or a HyperPie, the computer will be changed. Uh, definitely adding the LED buttons. Gonna LED strip this out and definitely the sound on this. 
is just it's just a joke. The sound has to go. Not to mention there's so much room in the bit in the bottom. We're gonna add the subwoofer to it. I don't mind spending the extra 40 bucks for the sound. I'll do that. But as far as modifying, we definitely have to put a couple of holes, meaning that this little tag that they have here, that is the actual like description of the game that you found on the arcade cabinet, it will have holes in it, but who cares? I mean, I'd rather have clear sound than worry about reading something. Um, there you have it. Yeah, there you go. Vic VP, Game Case Arcades. Check it out. We're gonna probably do a little bit of a mod video to this, but pretty soon within maybe by Monday or Tuesday, you'll see a video up of us modding the arcade one up. On that note, I will see you guys on the next one. Again, big shout out to you guys. I hope you're enjoying the videos. This one's kind of dull because this. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one though. Again, like, subscribe. Be sure to send me messages if you have any questions or concerns. I'm always there.